Hi, my name is Jennifer Netter and I teach third grade here at Heritage. I actually started here at Heritage in 1975 in kindergarten when I was five years old and I graduated in 1988. Um, it was in second grade that the Lord laid on my heart to become a teacher and I never changed my mind over all those years. And so it was really a dream come true in 1992 when I was hired to teach third grade here. And actually my first grade teacher was the principal at the time, so she's the one who hired me. So that was pretty exciting as well. I just finished my 17th year of teaching here at Heritage. 16 of those years have been in third grade and one year was in second grade. I have somewhat of a unique perspective being a student, a faculty member and a parent now. Um, my husband and I have two children. Emily will be a sophomore here and Jeremy graduated from here in 2016. I can tell you from my own experience that I received a fabulous education academically here at Heritage, but even more importantly was the spiritual foundation that I received um, not only from home and church, but Heritage played a significant part in my faith and my walk with the Lord even up to this day. So I'm so thankful for that. And now that I have an adult son um, who's been through Heritage, he was totally prepared for college as well academically and um, the teachers, the coaches, the staff poured into him um, spiritually and he has a strong foundation in the Lord too and you can't put a price tag on that and Emily um, is experiencing that as well so I'm so thankful. As I said before I teach third grade so I wanted to tell you a little bit about what we do in third grade here at Heritage. Um, I just finished my uh, 17th year of teaching, so um, I've been in third grade for a while, and I love third grade. Um, they're really starting to think independently. Um, our discussions are pretty amazing. In fact, in Bible, we study the miracles of Jesus. We mainly stay in the Gospels, and I often tell the parents I wish they could be a little fly on the wall in my room so that they could hear our discussions. Um, they're just learning about faith in Jesus and starting to become real to them. And there are many times that they encourage and convict me in my faith throughout our discussions. We also memorize a lot of scripture uh, verses weekly and we uh, either put them to a song or to some type of rhythm and we actually memorize a whole chapter of the Bible to a song in third grade, which I think is really amazing. Reading, um, we really try to develop a lifelong love of reading in our kids. And we start out the year by um, start helping them foster that in their lives and to become, or to have a love for reading. We do read a number of novels throughout the year and we do study character, plots, compare and contrast. But one of the main things we teach in third grade as we're reading these novels is um, helping the kids relate the novel to their lives. So we teach them text to text, text to faith, text to self, and text to world. So text to text would be how does this novel relate to something else you've read? Text to faith, how does this novel relate to your faith? And many times they'll think back to a Bible story that we've just uh, talked about or a memory verse we've memorized and it's really cool to see them coming up with those ideas. Uh, text to self, how does this novel relate to things that have happened in your life? And text to world, how does this novel relate to our world? So it really is pretty amazing as they start to think uh, think that way and just relate those stories to actual things in their lives. In math, one of the main things or main focuses of third grade beyond time, money, measurement, fractions, and all those things is multiplication. And in third grade, they will memorize their multiplication facts, but more than that, we teach them why does five times six equal 30? You know, what does that look like? And so it's more uh, beyond, it's critical thinking. And um, so they will uh, memorize those facts, but there's a lot more to it than that. I count it an honor and privilege to be able to teach here. Um, so many people have poured into my life here at Heritage and now I have the opportunity to give back. And more importantly, the, my favorite thing to do, I look forward to each day, is that I get to share Jesus with these kids. And that's, hey, that's the best thing ever. 